Cool Dads with their Hot Cars, a Father's Day tribute toy vlog episode. What is a father to you? He is funny, happy, strong, handsome, clever, marvelous. Hi everyone! Welcome back to another video. This is a special episode as it is not just an ordinary toy review vlog but meant as a Father's Day tribute as well to all the fellow cool dads out there by featuring some of our diecast cars collections that are either driven by famous movie dad characters or those that represent them as character cars. Along with their respective action figure characters, that are available in our toys collections and I will try to add some life in those cars and characters by doing a voiceover imitation from some of their famous lines in their movie or shows so who do we got here okay in a quick glance we got Darth Vader and his cars Homer Simpson and his car also known as the Homer from the Flintstones it's Fred's Flint Mobile from The Incredibles is Mr. Incredible and his car. Despicable Miss Groomobile. And finally, Iron Man and his character car. I am your father. Come, my son. Join me, and together, we will rule the universe. Obi-Wan has taught you well. Okay, let's start with the most iconic father image and Star Wars character, Sith Lord Darth Vader. And with him is his son, who refused to join him in the dark side of the force, Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. And their respective cars are there as well. So basically, we got three diecast cars here that represent Darth Vader. Let's start with the one here, the, the carded one, it's from the Hot Wheels. We got a uh, Darth Vader car, but the official casting name is behind. It's called a Nitro Dorm Door Slammer. Okay, so you can see the other cars are and characters are also there. You can collect them all. Then we got the other two castings, which are more of character cars, and they are from the Star Car series of the brand Tomika. I'll feature them, uh, each of them. More, they are, it is more detailed and it resembles a real car. Even the tires look like having a good year printed on it. Looks like a Lightning McQueen from the Cars movie. See in front is the Darth Vader uh, mask. Okay. On the hood is the Darth, Darth Vader's uh, chest, the vest, the voice controller. Okay, from the side, from behind, okay, the imperial uh, symbol, side, says Darth Vader, also here, says Darth Vader, okay, like the tires or the wheels of this one, okay, then there's another one which is more uh, simple design, more cartoonish okay let's see what we got okay same thing in front is the uh, the Darth Vader mask okay on the trunk is the on the voice controller on his chest okay but the compared to the other one okay the head resembles the the roof resembles the helmet or the head of Darth Vader Okay, this is the side, the behind, 
says Darth Vader and their uh, logo. Okay. Bottom says Tomika for both. Okay. Also worth mentioning, although not here, is the character car from Hot Wheels, the Vader car. Fun facts, it is considered as the best-selling Hot Wheels character car. Please allow me to feature three additional die-cast toys here, which are not cars but actually ships, and they are not fantasy castings, but real replicas from the movies. First is the Darth Vader's Imperial Shuttle. It folds like this when in landing uh, mode and it opens its tri wing when it is in flight mode like this Then there is a TIE Fighter that Darth Vader pilots also It's called the Darth Vader's TIE Fighter you can see it has a special shape compared to the other typical TIE Fighters. His is uh, more of a, like a folded parenthesis, open close parenthesis shape. While the usual TIE Fighters of the troops are straight ones. Okay, so that's the difference. Okay, there's a Star Wars 101 for you guys. Okay, so much for Star Wars stops. The next three items are from Cartoons Animation General. The Simpsons. Kids, you tried your best and you failed miserably. The lesson is never try. Mmm, donut. No. Okay, so we got here the Naughty Dad and Son Tandem from the Simpsons animation TV series. Although I'm a self-confessed Star Wars fan, I could say that I can relate more to Homer and Bart as like me and my son, more than the earlier Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker Tandem. By the way, disclaimer, huh? those are the famous lines that I tried to mimic, but it doesn't mean they reflect our same personal opinions. Kids, don't follow Homer's advice. Follow your dads instead. They know better. Okay, going back to the Daika's car. This is Homer's official car, also known as the Homer, used from the Simpsons movie adaptation shown in 2007. The official car of the family, however, is a pink and branded sedan that Homer drives home every time the opening scenes are shown. If you've watched the movie, uh, there's some uh, contamination in their town, in the Springfield, and wherein uh, the entire Springfield was even covered into dome to isolate or quarantine them. Sounds familiar, right? Okay. So there you go. Looks good. It says here, the Homer. Okay. One of my favorite cars. Because Homer Simpson is my idol. <laughs> Two. Okay, next is all together, let's shout Yabba Dabba Doo. Flintstones, met the Flintstones, they're the modern Stone Age family. From the town of Bedrock, they're a page right out of history. Let's ride with the family down the street through the car to see your friends to feed. <laughs> okay, that's enough. It's not my range, unfortunately, so apologies for that. Also, as I don't have Flintstones action figures with us, so we will just focus on the Daika's car here. It's called the Flint Mobile. It comes as a Hot Wheels premium line card like this and casting. Um, usually, as mentioned in my previous Hot Wheels reviews, a Hot Wheels premium line are with real riders tires, therefore they are rubber tires. But this is a Stone Age car. 
So I guess it's a hard rock instead. <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay, so in the movie or in the cartoons, it's actually uh, the rock that uh, rolls here. But of course, here on the bottom, you will see that it's uh, made up of four uh, wheels that are also rubber, rubber tires. If you've watched the cartoons before, or the movie adaptation, this is driven by Fred, the lead character and head of the family. And this is supposed to be a stone age. There are no machines to run it. Instead, they use their feet to power and move the vehicle. As mentioned also in the opening song, second stanza earlier, if you may recall, right? Through the courtesy of Fred's two feet. Okay, so there you go. Rolling it. Okay. Moving on to the next car. A unique one at that, which is the Groomobile from the animation movie Despicable Me. Alright, settle down, calm down. We have stolen the Statue of Liberty, the small one in Las Vegas. We are going to steal the moon. <laughs> Banana. Banana. Gru, played famously by Steve Carell, is a super villain who adopts three girls from an orphanage. And although very vicious against his opponents, he is a very compassionate and loving father, father figure to those three kids. If you've seen the movies, you know what I mean. It's so flappy! Okay, let's go back to the car, the Groomobile. Uh, this is a Hot Wheels casting from the mainline basic cars under the Hot Wheels screen, screen timeline. That's the G logo to represent Gru and also being ridden by his cute but naughty minions. Okay, if you've seen the movie, you know how it works and what are the special features or gadgets that comes out from this car. Yeah. Okay, I almost forgot to feature this uh, additional car. It's from the McDonald's Happy Meals. Okay, it features the... I forgot the name of this car, but it's from his uh, twin brother, the rich guy. It's from the Despicable Me 3. So it has a, uh, a drill here. Okay, so... Looks cool. Okay, next is Mr. Incredibles car from the Disney animation movie, The Incredibles. Uh, this card is from The Incredibles 2, the sequel. But before that, here's one of the great dad lines from The Incredibles 2 sequel movie. I'm used to knowing what the right things to do is. I just wanted to be a good dad. Okay, so as we all know, this is uh, Mr. Incredible's car that he used for his crime fighting gigs. Something like a combined Batmobile and James Bond cars as it comes with lots of gadgets and gizmos. The black and blue color represents his original superhero costume before he got married to his wife, Elastigirl. This is an interesting casting because it is not much or it's not from a popular brand like Hot Wheels or Tomica, Greenlight. But instead, it's from Jax. Okay, so uh, this is the first casting that I will have for under this brand. Okay, but behind it, uh, you will see the other uh, cars. There's this one, the Incredible. The Boosted Incredible. Uh, typical police car and the underminer tunneler okay so it's from Jax and as you can see for this kind of casting they don't show the name of the car in front unlike Hot Wheels or green light so I guess it's them who got the license rights for this uh, uh, casting 
Okay, looks cool. Nonetheless, it's still a good one and nice addition to my movie cars collection. Let me try to unbox it for you so we get the feel of the car. Okay? Okay, I'm not gonna time lapse it for you just like in my other videos because uh, this won't take uh, much long. But as a warning again, uh, this should not be tried by kids. Let the uh, adult uh, do it for you, like your parents or someone, uh, um, an adult. Okay? So, um, just like how I open uh, carded uh, uh, castings like Hot Wheels, so uh, this is how I do it. I don't just rip it apart. I slice it from the edges so that I can still put them back uh, to their uh, case if I needed to. Okay. Hopefully, I can... Like it's properly, so I won't spend the Father's Day with an injured finger or hand. <laughs> okay. So there you go, it's done. Um, I will just uh, lift it up. So you see, I left uh, I left the top part so that it will form a hinge, so you can still put it back. Okay. There you go. It's out. Okay, a bit heavy. The wheels, obviously it's different from the Hot Wheels. Okay, see the inside. Okay, booster, what did you say, jacks. Okay, nothing much. And then there's the Incredible logo. The original one before they changed the costume to this red and eye. Okay. No capes. There you go. Finally set it free. So for this episode, I did it. So at least we have some one item that we unbox. What else can you say about uh, Mr. Incredible as a dad? Okay, he's the head of the family of uh, superheroes. Uh, the wife is Elastic Girl. Okay, the eldest. Child, the sister is uh, Violet. Okay, and then there's uh, Dash, which is like Flash, quite fast. And Jack Jack. Of course, we already know in the sequel how powerful, <laughs> what are the powers of uh, Jack Jack. Okay, so uh, we know he's a responsible father, ideal one, and he always uh, do what's best for his family. Okay, so we honor Mr. Incredible this Father's Day, along with the other dads there. Brad from the Flintstones, Lord Vader, and Homer Simpson so far. Finally, save the best for last of course. Here we go. But please don't tell it to others, it's our secret. The truth is, I am Iron Man. <laughs> That's his famous line, of course, as a superhero mode. And I have just privatized world peace. And that's him as his alter ego, genius billionaire, playboy philanthropist, Tony Stark. How about this? Go to bed or I'll sell all your toys. And that's him as the loving and caring dad to his only daughter, Morgan. Let's zoom a bit so that we can see him closer because he feels big. Okay, let's focus on Iron Man or Tony Stark. If you've seen the movie, we know that it was followed by a very innocent but sincere statement from his daughter that is immortalized and made famous now in the social media world and even merchandise items. The I Love You 3000. As we all know, Tony Stark has never been known to be a father figure and a caring one, in fact. In most of his Iron Man and Avengers movie that he has been with. However, that all changed when he settled down with Pepper Potts in the Avengers Endgame and had a daughter. But he gave the ultimate sacrifice of instead just continuing being a father, living normal life 
with his family in the woods in exchange of saving the entire human race by snapping his finger to defeat Thanos. And the rest, as we all know, is history. That's a tough act to follow. Okay, now we focus on this casting. It's a um, character car. Because as we all know, Iron Man doesn't drive a car like Batman, unlike Batman. So it shows his uh, helmet, of course. And it's from the, inf the end game or Infinity War wherein he wears already uh, a nano suit okay that blends uh, with his body okay okay nothing much I can say about this casting as we all know um, Tony Stark when he's in his alter ego as a, a, an ordinary genius playboy billionaire philanthropist drives an Audi okay so this is an Audi R8 from RMZ as we all know uh, Tony Stark drives a different Audi a more futuristic one okay but I don't have one yet so uh, this is all I can show okay so before we end and before I forget there's another casting that I want you to see okay. the most important one symbolized the uh, event for today okay we are celebrating Father's Day so this is a nice uh, casting to honor the dads that are collectors so the name of the casting is a uh, T-Bird okay so I put it in a protective case because it's a classic one and a collectible well that's it for this episode if you like this video Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share this video, and click the notification bell to never miss a future episode. Bye, and see you on the next uh, video. Happy Father's Day again to everyone, especially to my dad. May the force be with you.